everyone, Lou here. If you guys are new here, I'm a huge fan of the anime series Rosen Maiden. With that said, I don't see a single soul actually talk about the PS2 game, so let's talk about it. Rosen Maiden Gibbeth Garden is actually the second video game for Rosen Maiden. The first game was called Rosen Maiden Dual Waltzer and was just a visual novel version of the first season with extremely minor bullet hell gameplay during the fight scenes. In this one, the developer Taito decided to turn the sequel into a fighting game with heavy story to it. I think it's actually pretty interesting to make Rosen Maiden into a fighting game. I mean, there is the Alice game, which is a battle to the death, and each character has very unique powers so it kind of wraps up nicely into a shoujo fighting game. For those curious though, Taito is a major gaming company that created some pretty famous games we all know today like Space Invaders, Bubble Bobble, and Arkanoid. I guess they had some financial troubles at some point though because they were purchased by Square Enix in 2005. I guess this makes Rosen Maiden Gep and Garden a Square Enix title? Anyway. The game was used to promote season 2 of Rosen Maiden's anime called Troymond, but since Rosen Maiden is extremely niche, I'm gonna assume this is one of the many things involving Rosen Maiden that wasn't the Pulipto line that just was a financial flop. The only other information I could find on the game was that there was a limited edition version of the game featuring Bara Suisho and Suiginto on the cover and came with a pocket watch featuring Suiginto, which has a nice twist from most Rosen Maiden merch featuring just Shinku. With that out of the way, let's get started with the story. <laughs> The story is exactly the same as the Troymond anime, except it's heavily shortened to cut out things like fluff that doesn't make sense to add in a visual novel, plus a fighting game. So it's basically a really long TLDR of the Rose and Maiden Troymond anime. Hell, there's even screenshots from Troymond used as CGs in the game. Now, if you haven't seen my review of Rose and Maiden Troymond before, I'm gonna give a TLDR on my thoughts on it rather than the whole story here because there is a video for that and I I highly recommend seeing my Troyman video before or after this one, but I was not a fan of the story of Rose and Maiden Troyman. I don't know, I just feel like this story reeks of early 2000s anime adaptation that couldn't continue the manga story because there wasn't enough material, because there's just this really stupid twist meant for shock value and nothing else. Like, Sosei Seki betraying her sisters solely because she saw an apparition of Rosen crying. Like, I know Sosei Seki's personality is that she's loyal to a fault, but that doesn't make any damn sense when she was starting to show disinterest in the Alice game. Then there's the twist at the end that Barasui Sho isn't a real Rosen maiden and Enju isn't Rosen, if only because it's so poorly developed and explained. Like, Enju is apparently Rosen's apprentice who was jaded and made his own Enju maiden, just to prove he's better than Rosen, but his bootleg still wasn't good enough when she collapsed from the Rosen Mystica, so what the hell. I don't know, I go into more detail in my video, but the story just sucks in comparison to the first season. <laughs> Okay, so firstly is that there's dialogue options in the story. I'm not sure what's up with that, and to be honest, I can't find much on this game anyway in English, so it's hard to say or know if the options are here to make it feel like your choices matter even though they don't, like in Genshin Impact, or there is a secret ending somewhere or something. Second is that, dear goodness, these controls suck ass. I assume the game's difficulty here in the fighting game is likely due to the fact that the physical manual probably gave instructions on the controls, but damn, y'all couldn't have included at least a little tutorial on the basic controls? I mean, hell, even Smash Bros gives you some semblance of a guide here. I say this because the characters move around via floating like they do in the anime when they fight, and then you have to use a bunch of different buttons for combos. The problem is that, again, I believe the combo list was likely in the manual because this game is extremely combo heavy that I pretty much had to rely on luck and button mashing for it. For gameplay, by the way, you're also gonna have to heavily rely on Google Translate like crazy if you don't speak Japanese because 
The game was obviously never localized into any language other than Japanese. If you do speak Japanese, I notice the text isn't kanji heavy and is mainly hiragana with some katakana for certain characters, names, or stuff involved in the Rosen Maiden lore itself. I only know a few basic phrases and sentences often used in anime in Japanese, so with that basic knowledge, it is helpful to getting around the gist of it. But also watching the anime helps too because it is pretty much a one-to-one -one of the anime. The visuals all look pretty good. The sprites have lip movements while speaking and decently made. Even if it does look like a promotional reference sheet so it doesn't have a polished look as other anime based visual novels of the time. I mean, I know they were probably on a budget of a paperclip and a piece of string, but damn, it would have been nice if the art style of the visual novel was more like the manga's softer style, just because that style is so pretty. Anyway, the visual novel does have the occasional original CG, but they look more like redrawn screenshots, so they look kind of bad, and the rest of the CGs use screenshots for the anime. It comes across pretty lazy, but I guess that's what happens when you have a small budget on an obscure anime no one remembers except for nearly 20 years later on TikTok in one of those Do You Remember This Anime videos, so... The 3D models look pretty interesting. They're very low poly and obviously stuck within the limitations of the PS2. I can't really get a closer look because the models are obviously always moving because it's a fighting game. So unless you want to start over, you can't really stand there and try to admire the models. I also have no skills in digging up and analyzing models, but you guys are free to. I mean, you never know. Maybe y'all can make like MMD models with them or something. Though if you guys do want MMD models for Rosen Maiden, a Twitter user named Nico Aoi made some models, but I don't know if they're widely available anymore because I downloaded mine years ago, so I don't have the links for them anymore. Still, they're there if you want them. This just makes me wish Rosen Maiden did have more video game content. I know there's been some mobile game collaborations with Rosen Maiden, but damn, a Rosen Maiden fighting game mimicking the Alice game would be so cool if done by a better team. And if the controls weren't ass. I don't plan to go back and review the bullet hell game of the first season though. I'm genuinely not good at bullet hell games, especially ones in the style of Toho. Still though, I do think this visual novel was cute and I do recommend it just to see the kind of Rosen Maiden merch and promotions that were available in the mid 2000s. It's also great for anyone learning Japanese since it doesn't use heavy kanji and the characters speak very simplistically thanks to pretty much the entire cast being children or the equivalent of children. The only thing is you'll obviously have to argue Hardy's this game and emulate it because it was only available on the PS2, so without your fellow mateys, I'm pretty sure this game would have been lost media. Still, you guys let me know down below what you think of this game. Do you love it? Do you plan on trying it even with the language barrier? As always, let me know down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching! If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new! If any of you would like to help support my channel in any possible way, my Ko-fi page is down below in the description along with all of my social media. For any subscribers, new or old, who'd like to help with video ideas or maybe just want to talk about anime or something, I have a fan server linked down below. See you next time!